What is going on everybody? Today we found a 2020 Tiff and Allegro bus with the Cummins 605 and only 2,700 miles available here at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida for $377,777. This is the 45 OPP with the bath and a half, the most popular floor plan in an Allegro bus. When you look at how other Allegro buses out there are priced, and this one having the 605 horsepower, this is definitely very well priced. And the best part about it is it is available here at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida, where it has undergone an extensive PDI and detail process. They can help you get financing. They can take in trades. And when you take delivery of this coach, they'll have someone go over the coach with you, make sure you understand how to use everything, make sure everything works. You can even camp in the coach for several nights. A lot of the big box stores out there, they're gonna try to kick you out in a few hours. Really a lot of value in purchasing this coach from the Motor Coach store. But the interior of this coach is so well finished out. Let's take a quick look inside of the interior and then we'll come take a look at the basement bays. Coming up to the cockpit area here, uh, when we flip this on, you can see the digital dash. You can see there's only 2,700 miles. We have these huge screens where you can display your different camera angles, the left, right, rear cameras. Very simple cockpit. Everything is very ergonomic a very comfortable chair. There is that uh, old fashioned fan for the driver. Always nice to be able to have that little cool air blowing as well as your dash AC. You can see the very modern controls. You can start and stop your generator up here, control your nightshades. We do have the generator running right now as well as the ACs. It's very quiet inside of this coach. There's a control for your step cover for your passenger. Then your passenger has a very comfortable area over here with a separate navigation screen. You have this touch pad with your lighting controls, shade controls. You can control the climate control all right here from this touch pad. It also has wireless charging, a cup holder, and USB ports. This nice grab handle that does illuminate at night. These are heated recliners as well, so on a cool day, if you need a little warmth, you do have that. Coming back into this coach, it's easy to understand why the 45 OPP is the most popular floor plan. This does have the dual recliners. Uh, you have a little push button here where you can extend those out. There are cup holders. I better be careful before I wanna take a nap here. And I'll also point out while I'm reclining here that you can see that indirect lighting below the countertop. There's also a large storage area here for remotes, a very comfortable recliner. And then from across from the shades, we do have the TV lift. And that's behind this couch that does uh, pull out into sleeping as well. This is all villa furniture, very high quality furniture. And then this is gonna have an air mattress. And then you can see there's a small area to walk through the coach while the bed is out, but then you can easily tuck that back away. Beautiful styling on this coach with the cream colors and then the dark wood, the light color floors. These are heated floors. And then I like to point out all of the lighting and indirect lighting that Tiffin does in the ceiling around these air conditioning vents. Right now we have all of the shades down on a hot floor today, but we can press one button for the Nightshade Master. Now we can see that it brings a lot of light into the coach. Typically, this is gonna be your patio side that has your view. I love the placement of this dinette. And you have a lot of countertop space. These are very large dinette chairs. There are outlets and USB ports that will pop out of the countertop. And I really like that these windows will open up if you do wanna get a little breeze in here, a little fresh air. I am gonna put the shades back down on a hot Florida day. A lot of folks do use this area as an office area. You can swivel this chair and then this little area right here will have a keyboard tray that can come out, printer tray here below. And then this table will extend out as well. You just lift it up a little bit and then there are extra dinette chairs if you do have guests. 
Then you do have some storage here over your dinette area, nice deep storage, lots of cabinet space in this coach. And coming into the galley, I love the styling with this backsplash, this cool stone decor piece. And this does have the little uh, peninsula that will come out. This will tuck back in there while you are going down the road. And I like to point out the indirect lighting that glows off of the floor, as well as the indirect lighting below the countertop there. You've got the solid surface countertop, more outlets and USB ports that pop out of the countertop. You have a true induction cooktop with this nice cooktop cover that's fully flush with the countertops and then a sink cover as well for your large uh, dual sided sink. And you do have a lot of storage in this coach and Tiffin does a lot of nice features like bringing these drawers here in these upper cabinets so folks that aren't quite as tall can easily access these areas more storage here again a nice pull out tray your sharp microwave and then a nice little uh, pantry here and again this will pull out and then there are very deep drawers here as well with the silverware divider a bunch of remotes in there right now and this does have the fisher pickel dishwasher nice feature to have finished out with that face that matches the cabinets this is going to house the central vac parts here and talking about central vac with these tile floors you can just sweep everything right here kick this over that'll vacuum everything up and then if you want to vacuum furniture you can use those hoses that i was just showing you in that drawer to plug in to this little inlet here and hook up your central vac hoses to vacuum the coach out keep it clean and then you've got more storage here below your sink it's got this nice drawer a little spot for trash can and recycle and then more drawer space over here so it does have the maytag residential refrigerator with pantry space on both sides of the refrigerator nice deep pantries and you've got two of those so lots of storage in this coach it does have the water and ice dispenser as well as the pull out freezer drawer so this coach is a bath and a half coach here's a look at the half bath Bathroom. beautiful backsplash like we saw in the galley does have a vent with a fan with this really cool piece to cover that up plenty of room around your Dometic toilet there is a window in here blinds are down right now and a little bit of medicine cabinet space just a nice little half bath here and then in the middle of the coach we've got this large touch panel that we can control the climate control lighting shades we can monitor our tank levels put the slide rooms in and out monitor the batteries control the floor heat all of that good stuff from this panel and then we can section off the rear bedroom if we want with that nice sliding door there but then when you come back here into the rear bedroom it's got a really nice feel with the fireplace the tv on the televator a king size bed that does pivot up if you do want to sit upright while you're watching tv at night does have a ceiling fan a lot of folks like having that fresh air while they're sleeping and i really like that there's no cabinets overhead here in the bedroom a lot of times in tiffin motorhomes and other motorhomes there's cabinets over the bed this gives you a lot of space you've got the puck lighting here as well as sconce lighting windows on both sides of the bed you do have usb ports on both sides of the bed and i really like this style of bedding that they use very cool bedding that does come with the coach and then this fireplace lots of little details that tiffin does like there's no carpet on the slide room here it's got that solid surface there on the bottom of the slide room and then you do have storage with adjustable shelving on both sides of the tv here just beautiful woodwork around that slide room face coming into the back of the coach i think this is why this is such a popular floor plan even with the king size bed the half bathroom that everything we've seen we still have a huge rear bath and a walk-in closet dual sinks beautiful glass bowl sinks and then that same backsplash like we've seen earlier really ties in all of these surfaces together you've got the puck lighting everything is very well done huge shower here does have the teak seat beautiful tile work lots of room for you know bigger guys does have the grab handle there if you need a little uh, help getting up from that teak seat and the nice skylight here bringing in that natural lighting 
but we can close that as well and then it does have that LED light that I believe works off of solar but I do like the natural light though. Medicine cabinet space here behind your mirrors very nicely finished out and then storage below as well and then coming to the back of the coach there's a little step up where your engine hatch is going to be into this walk-in closet does have a washer and dryer here as well as a safe shoe cubbies and i like that there's a little solid surface countertop space here if you want to fold clothes there's hanging space along the entire back of the coach more countertop space over here lots of storage nice drawers everything is you know finished out extremely high end and then you even have a little spot for hats or shoes here above your hanging space and then i like to point out that these ac units are actually ducted into the rear closet sometimes coaches don't have the ac ducted where the air can get a little in the closet but it's keeping all your clothes nice and cool as well this is an interior that i'm excited about but let's go take a look at the basement bays the cummins x15 and the exterior of this coach this does have the lg tv with the sound bar and the entertainment bay here we did leave the slide rooms out while we go through the basement bays i know a lot of you have requested that to see how easy it is to access these bays so you do have to duck down a little bit if you do have the slide room out but this does have the Dometic cooler on the slide out tray. Easy access there to your cooler. Bay two is gonna be a full pass through bay with the power slide tray. We can press a button. This does have a thousand pound towing capacity and with only 2,700 miles, everything is in the wrapper on this coach. And it does have that little tailgate that makes loading and unloading easier. Bay 3 is going to be another full pass through bay with that power slide tray. A lot of storage in this coach. Here's a little access panel here to access the back of the refrigerator if you do need to work on that. They're thinking ahead. And then another large storage bay. This is going to house the surge guard power protection system. And here's your chassis batteries. Everything's very clean back here. And I do have to point out how nice the styling is. I love the way they did these tail lights. Really beautiful styling on the rear end of this coach. We just pop these two tabs open and that'll swing up. And then there's the Cummins X15. So a lot of the Allegro buses are only gonna have the Cummins 450 with 605 horsepower. This is gonna have a lot more acceleration and power than the Cummins 450. So a huge upgrade that's really sought after. This is a side radiator coach. It does have the DEF fill on both sides. And I like these compartment doors. Everything is very firm when it closes. Here's your Aqua Hot 450D. And then here's a look at the plumbing bay. And Tiffin has really stepped up their plumbing bay. This does have the macerator system there. So if you want to pump your waste out uphill, you can. And it'll give you access to a lot more places to dump your tank power hose reel for your water connection, an outside shower, simple tank levels outside. Yeah, so here's the other side of that full pass through bay. These power storage trays will come out both ways and you have two of those large pass through storage bays with the slide trays that come out on both sides. And then here's a look at the house battery bank as well as the hydraulic system housed up front here. Everything is very clean, lifeline batteries with those power pulse battery monitors. We are running that generator right now to keep that coach nice and cool on a hot Florida day. But here's a look at the electric panel. And this has got the Cummins owning 10,000 generator with only 134 hours. Still very low hours on that generator. And I wanna point out too on the windshield, that Tiffin badge there, and then those huge chrome rear view mirrors, really great looking front end on this coach. If you are a serious buyer, this 2020 Allegro bus with the Cummins 605 and only 2,700 miles is available here at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida for $377,777. We greatly appreciate all of you that are subscribing to the channel. We hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.